Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at some of the problems associated with the echoing that is happening in Microsoft Teams. Now, this video is actually going to cover other audio applications such as Discord, but we're going to be predominantly talking about Teams as this is the one which has more recently been affected by a certain Windows update. So, we'll be taking a look at that in the video and also just some kind of sanity checks of things that you can do with your own setup just to make sure that your sound is set up correctly and you're using the best things possible to actually get your information across whilst you're in a Teams call. So the first things to be thinking of is what device are you actually using? If you're using something like a laptop, then there's all kinds of problems associated with that anyway, because you have a microphone, which is generally built into the top edge of the laptop where your webcam is, and generally your speakers are gonna be somewhere in front. So if you've got your speakers turned up too loud to hear the call, then that noise is gonna go straight into the microphone unless you've got some sort of noise cancelling enabled. So that potentially can be a problem. Now there's ways to get around both of these things. So one of the easiest things to do is just plug in a set of headphones, or if you've got some iPhone headphones or just a, a pair of in-ear monitors, plug those into your laptop. That will isolate the speakers from the microphone and that should prevent some of the echo you're experiencing. Alternatively, if you're maybe sitting a little bit further back or further away, then you may want something like this, so a desktop microphone. These are relatively inexpensive. You can get these in various formats, whether on a 3.5 mil jack plug or a USB connection. So that way you can sit a little bit further back with your microphone, have your microphone closer to your mouth and further away from the speakers in your device. Now this is the same for laptops or desktop setups. So that's some things that you can take into consideration. Next thing we'll do, we're gonna head over to the computer to actually look at some of the settings you can change on your Windows desktop to make sure your sound settings are correct. So this is our Windows 11 desktop. Uh, Windows 10 is gonna be very similar to this. One of the first things you wanna do is to go into the search and type in control panel. And you can click on control panel. And in this section, you wanna go into hardware and sound. And then we wanna go in the sound section, we wanna to go to manage audio devices. So with this, we're somewhat on the assumption that you've got a microphone which is built into your PC or plugged into your PC. So if we scroll over to the recording tab, and what we want to do is to find your microphone. So you're probably gonna find there's a load of different things in here. We've got this one here, which is the AI noise cancelling microphone. And also further down, we've got our microphone in at the front panel jack. So that is the one we're actually using. So what we want to do is to highlight this one and then we can click on properties. Now in properties, you wanna go into levels, and this is one of the areas where you can drastically reduce the echo in your microphone. So this is your microphone gain at the top, so the loudness set to 100%, probably best kept there, but you've also got one there called microphone boost. So if you're suffering from echo, you can try adjusting this particular slider and see which works best for you. Ideally, you want it to be as low as possible or potentially leave it set to off that will generally give you the best results. Another thing you can do is to click on the start flag, go into the settings cog, go into system, and then we wanna go into sound. And again, similar sort of setup here, just a little bit of a different look. So if we look at our inputs here, so again, this is our microphone in at the front panel, which is the one we're actually using for our calls. Click on this one to bring up more information about it. And it says here the device is currently in use as we are using it. But what you wanna look at is this section here, the audio enhancements. Recently, there's been a bug within the Windows operating system with a, a recent update, which sets this to be the default. So it's actually using de effects by default. So if yours is saying device defaults, change it and set it to off. Generally that way, that will also remove any echoes you should be experiencing. Again, with this, a little bit of trial and error, you can try it toggled on or toggled off, but either way, you should find one of those settings changes it, especially if you're using a Realtek or a C-Media chipset for your audio devices. Something else you can do, this is actually in Teams itself. So you open up your Teams, go into a call, and you can go into your settings. So click on this one here, which says more actions, the three little dots. And something you can do as well, make sure obviously these sections here, make sure your microphone isn't muted if you're having audio issues where people can't hear you. But generally, if you find this video, it's probably not for that reason. So head into settings, then we want device settings, 
and just make sure that these devices are set up correctly. So for this specific instance, speakers, we're going to use the built-in speakers, which are in our monitor here. Of course, if you've got headphones plugged in, select your headphones. And for microphone, again, just make sure you've got the right one set up. So ours is the microphone in front panel, Realtek Audio. If you've got other options, such as like with this one, we've got the AI noise cancelling microphone from the Asus Utility, choose the primary one here, so the microphone in. Again, if you're having any problems with this, you're not entirely sure what's going on, please reach out to us on our Discord. Links will be in the video description. Other options as well, so if you are getting echo in, you have got a noise suppression feature built in to Microsoft Teams. Generally, it's set to the auto, which is default, but if you're experiencing issues, again, you can try experimenting with these whilst you're in a call. Choose either high, low, or perhaps turn it off if it's being slum or aggressive and actually making you sound worse than it should do. Again, experimentation is the key. Also make sure you've got the section turned off as we looked at earlier, the audio enhancements, because that is a particular problem. So there you go. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you to uh, try and remedy your Discord problems or possibly your Microsoft Teams problems or basically any sort of audio communications, even if you're just doing voice recordings or voiceovers onto your device, then these things can be quite helpful. Again, the simple things are generally the easiest, plug in a set of headphones and normally that cures most things. But again, if it doesn't, then feel free to reach out to us on our Discord. Links for that will be in the video description below. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.